The biggest challenge for designers in digital products to make them look a little bit more diverse than they are now is possibly to kind of like break out of their limited thinking. You know, when I think of typography, for example, it's not just always using the sans serif simply because it's a trend. You know, go off trend to try something else and keep the audience in mind. You know, that's probably the most important thing. Who are you talking to? And by understanding who you're talking to, you can actually create a digital user experience that is much more fulfilling than what we have at the, at the moment. I think the most authentic thing a designer can do to be authentic in their work is, first of all, be true to yourself, but also be able to argue what you're designing. In order to do so, you, of course, have to go through iterations of that design. You cannot just come up with an idea and say, hey, that's an idea, it's brilliant. It doesn't work like that. You probably have to go through hundreds of iterations until you arrive at that one design that exactly you know, hits the nail on the head. And then you can argue that, and then you can be true to yourself, and then you have a great product that you can sell. The next new movements in digital design, in my opinion, is mixed reality. Yes, there is virtual reality and there is augmented reality. But I think those two outliers, virtual and augmented, are more outliers. If you think of virtual reality, it's a very enclosed environment, it's very immersive. Augmented reality, it's kind of like almost putting sticky tape on things. But I think mixed reality, what we see with the HoloLens, what, with Magic Leap having come out, I think this is really where the future is going. You know, the day will come, I guess, five to ten years from now, where we'll be walking around with goggles, you know, and we have all that information coming at us. The mobile phone is gone. I believe it's dead. It's over. Let's just, like, not design for the mobile phone anymore. Let's design for the new realities. I think what we'll also find is that design will be far broader than what we have understood up until now. And by that, I mean that it's not only graphic design, it's haptic design. It's, it's, it's dealing with all the sensory inputs that we have as human beings. What the consequences are of that, that's a completely different conversation and I think that's one that we have to have in 10 years time.